Hi guys! Today it is Valentine's Day and we are going to Magnetic Island but before that I just wanted to say that today, Wednesday, not the actual day you're watching this but Valentine's Day the 14th, there won't be a video up. You'll already probably know that but I just wanted to tell you why there wasn't any videos last week and not just kind of not address it. So I just wanted to be able to take the week off to fully experience and enjoy this trip and I didn't want to have to be running like into the van or into a hotel room to edit and upload videos and like missing out on experiences. So I just thought it'd be the best for me to not post this week. So sorry if you were waiting on any videos from this trip, but obviously you'll have had some already. If you'd have watched the last video, then you know that we really, really enjoyed this campsite. I just want to reiterate that in this vlog today. Um, it is a really, really nice campsite. The owners are so, so nice. All the people on here are like really nice. It's really quiet. There's plenty of spaces. I will try and find a link to their website and link it down below for you. They're called Coral Coast Caravans, I think. Coral Coast Caravan site. It's called Coral Coast anyway. But it's super nice. The bathrooms are like really, really nice. In the women's, they've got like plants on either side, like fake plants on either side of the basin, like the sinks. And then, like, that's really cute. And the showers are clean, toilets are clean, the pool's nice. And yeah, it's just been a generally nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it's been pleasant. Alex says it's been pleasant. So, we are just packing up, getting everything ready to go. And we're gonna check out and then get some breakfast and then head over to the ferry terminal. We're in a pink barbie car. Yeah, boy. Alex wanted the pink one. It wasn't me. I said, well, get whichever one you want. Alex liked the pink one. So we've got a pink little car. We're whizzing around by Desert Island. Chicken is at two. We're staying at Peppers, blue on blue. And it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Our little mini milk, whatever it's called. Um, where did we get it from? Isle Hire. We got it from Isle Hire. It costs 89 for the day and that includes all your petrol, like unlimited petrol. So it's 89 for just the day if you have it back before uh, if you have it back for 5 pm. So it's like six hours, five, five or six hours. But we got it for 24 hours, so it's just um, $99. You have to pay 200 deposit, deposit, but you get that back, so it's just in case you nick off with it or crash it or whatever. But we've come to Picnic Bay and it's very, very beautiful, so I'll show you that now. <laughs>
Bay and it's absolutely massive. Is it Horseshoe Bay? Yeah, Horseshoe Bay. It takes about 10 minutes to get from Picnic Bay to Horseshoe Bay. Which is literally like one side of the island to the other. Yeah. And it's really, really beautiful. It's really hot. It's really hot. It's, been, it's nice to be by side, to be beside the sea. But our room's ready now, so we're just going to pop back to our hotel and then drop our bags off and come back out. Oh, maybe it's part of the mini bar though, babe. I don't like red wine. Oh, baby. said but we are staying in Peppa's blue on blue tonight a little bit of a luxury splurge but it's Valentine's Day it is Valentine's Day and I do have to say we, pay, we did pay for the cheapest room and we got here we checked in we were our lovely usual selves and we just got a text message oh your room's ready early for one like two hours early and he said to us, we have an upgrade. They've upgraded us. So we were meant to be on like a little ground floor car park area. But now we're on a second floor. Stunning view. Absolutely amazing. So this is in no way sponsored or anything like that. But thank you Peppers Blue and Blue if you're watching this. I don't know if you will be. So we just parked the... I'm going for a poo. <laughs> so we just parked the car in the underground car park. <laughs> that stinks. At least we're not in the van like last night. So we just parked the car in the underground parking and we're about to go for a swim. I'm not going to take you with us though, but I will make sure I have a quick walk around the hotel so you can just see what it's like and I will show you in the bathroom now. So this is the bathroom. It's got a humongous shower with one of those roof shower things. A big mirror. Now you've got your toilet and your sink, obviously. It has these... I don't know how you say it. It has these appels, which Silky Oaks had when we went and stayed there. It's just a different... It's just a different type of the one that they had. It's not going to focus on it for some reason. But it is plum, orange and geranium, blackcurrant 
absolute, apparently. <laughs> But we've just been for a swim in the pool. There's two pools, but one is for like hotel guests and the other is for like resort residents. We don't really know what that means, but we went in the one that says resort residents. Don't know if we're meant to go in there or not, but it was really big. I'll show you on the thing. So this is like the massive pool and it is massive and then it comes around here and there's like a look out into the marina which is here. That's the one that's meant to be for hotel guests where there and then this one is for like resort people. I don't really know what that means but we went there. Now we are just going to go back out in the moak thing, the little topless car and get me a little snack because I'm getting a little bit hungry. I don't know where we're eating or what we're eating tonight. There is a little like special on the menu, the room service menu. So it's like two pizzas and a bottle of wine for $59. Uh, the pizzas are $25 anyway and the wine's meant to be $34 so it's a pretty good deal. So I might get that, who knows, as of yet, just kind of winging it. But we'll update you when we know. Bay and we're just gonna eat some crisps that we picked up from the shop and just relax we're under a nice shady tree we've got a bench and then the beach is behind we'll show you that in a minute We decided to order room service and they do a deal which is two pizzas and a bottle of wine for $59 which is quite good the pizzas are about $25 each and the wine spent to $34 each or something like that we also got some wedges I'll show you in a minute we couldn't decide on where to go and the places that we wanted to go were actually shut up for a holiday until March so we got a bottle of Brut, we got, well Alex got the Cajun chicken pizza and I got the, oh that's really hot, veggie pizza and then obviously we have the sauces for the wedges and wedges, so that is our tea. So it's getting dark now, 
probably going to call it a night soon. But that food was really, really nice. Like the dough of the pizza was like so nice, wasn't it? And then we have just finished and we were just sat here just drinking wine. And we heard something like scuttling down, like down off the bottom of the balcony. And we looked, Alex was like, oh, it's a cat. So I stood up to have a look and it was actually a possum. That's the second one I've seen in two days. I saw one last night at the campsite. It scuttled out of a, like a storage cupboard thing. And now I've seen one tonight. There is a restaurant that's like over there somewhere that we were thinking about going to that has a possum that lives there and he eats tortilla chips. And oh, and wears little Mexican hats as well. But we didn't end up going, so we've actually seen one here. We didn't even have to leave our room, really. <laughs> but we've had a really good day. And I'm really tired. We're both a little bit burnt. We're both quite shiny. <laughs> But tomorrow we're planning on getting up, going to breakfast, getting in our little topless car and doing the forts walk, yeah. So um, Magnetic Island it has like the biggest population of wild koalas in North Queensland and I read online that you're most likely to see one at the forts walk earlyish in the morning before the like properly start the day and like head up to get in the trees and stuff so we're gonna head up there after we've finished breakfast and checked out and do that it takes about an hour and a half return i think it said it's like three kilometers or something which isn't really that far is it i don't think it'll take an hour and a half unless there's like a lot of steps so i'm not very good with steps oh yeah so we're both on fit, so that'll be a fun one to watch. And then we need to take the moat back by 12 o'clock, but I don't know if we'll probably end up taking it back earlier, just a little bit earlier. Depends how long we take. I think we should check out before 10. But yeah, I think we might just nip for a drive because I can see something over there. It looks like a bar with its lights on, like string lights. There. And I want to go see what it is. So I think we're just going to nip over there and then end up calling it a night. It's gotten dark now. It looks stunning. I'll just show you what it looks like. How beautiful is that? So we will see you in a bit when we get back. And that will probably be the end of the vlog when we get back. So we'll see you then. So... We just took the car for a little ride um, to Picnic Bay in the dark and it was really pretty still and the stars looked really nice and even Townsville looked quite nice as well. So we're just going to finish off the rest of our wine and then go to sleep. So I'm just going to say bye and then you will see us Wednesday or Friday whenever this goes up for tomorrow. So make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it and if you're new consider subscribing and that's everything. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!